I am Dr. Sundar, Consultant Nephrologist, Head of International Transplant Services of the Manipal Hospitals in Bangalore. After transplantation, the patient is on life-saving drugs called immunosuppressive therapy. What happens in a transplant is when somebody donates a kidney to the patient, the patient's body says, I don't want the kidney. Because their immune system, which fights the bacteria or fights the virus, also fights the new kidney. They think the kidney is foreign and we have to prevent this uh, fighting, which we call as rejection. The immune system has to be suppressed. The patient's immune system is suppressed by using special medications called immunosuppressive drugs. These immunosuppressive drugs, we mainly use three drugs. One is called psych cyclosporin or tacrolimus. Other is called mycophenolate or azathioprine. The third is prednisolone or steroids. These three drugs have made a lot of difference in the success of transplant. These are sort of lifelong treatment. They cannot be stopped. The dose may vary. We give higher dose initially and the dose tapers down to a maintenance dose after a couple of months. Then person who's transplant will always invariably have high blood pressure and 50% of our patients going for kidney transplant are diabetics. So they are on medications for diabetes. Some many of the patients because of the steroids and other drugs, their cholesterol and lipids are high. So they are on anti-cholesterol drugs with statins. Many of them who are diabetics would have had a heart surgery or a angioplasty. So they are on acosprin or aspirin or antiplatelet drugs. And people who are diabetic may be an anti-diabetic and insulin. So they are on many drugs. But the most important drug which we call immunosuppressive drugs to keep the kidney going cannot be missed, cannot be omitted and they have to be taken lifelong.